helping to build up a character for heaven. May 15th, accompanied by the Spirit. If it be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of thine hand, O King. But if not, be it known unto thee, O King, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Daniel chapter 3 verses 17 to 18. While these youth were working out their own salvation, God was working in them to will and to do of his good pleasure. Here are revealed the conditions of success. To make God's grace our own, we must act our part. The Lord does not propose to perform for us either the willing or the doing. His grace is given to work in us to will and to do, but never as a substitute for our effort. Our souls are to be aroused to cooperate. The Holy Spirit works in us, that we may work out our own salvation. This is the practical lesson the Holy Spirit is striving to teach us. It is God which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Philippians chapter 2 verse 13. The Lord will cooperate with all who earnestly strive to be faithful in his service, as he cooperated with Daniel and his three companions. Fine mental qualities and a high tone of moral character are not the result of accident. God gives opportunities, success depends upon the use made of them. The openings of providence must be quickly discerned and eagerly entered. There are many who might become mighty men, if, like Daniel, they would depend upon God for grace to be overcomers, and for strength and efficiency to do their work. I address you, young men, be faithful. Put heart into your work. Imitate none who are slothful and who give divided service. Actions, often repeated, form habits, habits form character. Patiently perform the little duties of life. So long as you undervalue the importance of faithfulness in the little duties, your character building will be unsatisfactory. In the sight of omnipotence, every duty is important. The Lord has said, he that is faithful in that which is least is faithful also in much, Luke chapter 16 verse 10. In the life of a true Christian there are no non-essentials, messages to young people, 